Welcome back again, everybody. This is uh, Ron Dittmars talking to you from the recording studios of Erasmus Academy. And today we have our uh, guest speaker, Nathan. Nathan, you want to say hello? Hi there. Nathan is our production manager for the whole series. So we are very thankful to all of all, everything that you've done for us. Okay, here, here we go. Here's a picture of uh, um, Carl Rahner as a young uh, theologian. Again, uh, one of the... Uh, covers of one of the of his books on on sacramental theology and here uh, a picture of him and his wife uh, Louise so uh, very nice pictures there okay this is the last section um, in this uh, uh, going through the beginning of the introduction by Carl Lehmann to Rahner's book Gebete des Lebens Prayers of Life okay so I'm going to read aloud and just to give you a sense of the sound of the words and the flow of the sentences and then I'll ask questions specifically to Nathan uh, to answer uh, understand the structure of the sentences which are not really difficult in this passage and then uh, we'll, we'll arrive together with you yourselves and and us too at a meaning of these uh, sentences okay here we go do you speak Dualität des Heiligen Ignatius von Loyola. Everybody, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just going to continue reading. Besonders authentisch vermittelt durch seinen Bruder Hugo. Okay, up to there. Let's see. Um, so this is the spirituality of the of the of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Now uh, this little sentence here, um, besonders authentisch. Remember the th is pronounced like a t authentic, uh, conveyed. What, what sort of a sentence is this? Do you remember, um, Nathan, with just a past uh, participle there? Yeah, is it some type of dependent clause or something? Or, or no? Uh, it, 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 is, it is a kind of a dependent right. clause. It's a participial phrase uh, based on this past participle standing by itself. So uh, uh, conveyed, especially authentically, through his brother Hugo. <clears throat> so, um, so here's the uh, the spirituality is the is the uh, subject, and it goes on. Unter Studium der patristischen Theologie legten zugleich andere Wege nah. Okay, so this whole sentence from from the top down to the bottom. Let me see if I can start this. Um, can you see the green marker here? Yes. Great. Okay. So down to here, um, where's the main verb? Okay, it's going to be, uh, let's see, Lechten na, na. Na, na, right. Oh. So, yeah. Lechten na, uh, um, yeah. so this means placed near, or the, really what it means is suggested, it, and, and it's plural, so they suggested, so we're looking for a plural subject, so where is that? So it's going to be Das Studium. Yeah, so this is one, and and we just pick up the other subject from the first, uh, from the very first line. There, those spirituality of 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 um, Saint uh, of Holy Ignatius of Loyola, and the study of patristic theology. So th those are the two uh, subjects of the sentence, suggested at the same time. Uh, so so both of these things uh, uh, suggested at the same time other ways in other words other ways to uh, create a more living theology is the idea going on die beiden lesebücher rechenschaft des glaubens und praxis des glaubens everybody uh, no, sorry uh, uh, vergleich uh, compare this means compare the um the uh, uh, epilogue or the or the the afterword of the publisher so um, where where do you have the uh, the verb? Okay, so it's up, going to uh, be up, up to here, which we actually okay. Use. So it's going to be uh, Bergen seat. Yeah, good Bergen. So it means contains or reveals. Um, good. So the 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 two um, reading books, and this means account of of believing, and the practice of believing. Um, and then it says compare the the epilogue of, of the publisher uh, contain or reveal the documents zeugnisse so so these two subjects you have and here's the verb which um, transfers its action to the direct object zeugnisse the, uh, reveal or uh, contain the the uh, documents or testimonials 
for the new view, i.e. a new view of, of theology. Going on. Die sich auch für die Krebs ke Adam ke Söngen i Pritz war Hans Uslar von Balthasar H. H. D. Lubak on i Conger um, which um, which also which uh, also um, are demonstrated uh, or important for um, e, for for these different authors. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, do you want to just read through the whole thing? Just um, sure. <coughs> the so, so we can follow mm -hmm. spirituality of Saint Ignatius of Loyola especially transmitted authentically through his brother Hugo mm -hmm. and the study of patristic theology mm -hmm. suggested right away other paths or ways uh, something like that and then both reading books account of belief and practice of, or no account of believing good and practice of believing and it's asking you to refer to the epilogue of the publisher. You can see the publisher's epilogue uh, contain testimonials for this new or for, no, for the new view or site, uh, something along those lines, which are also uh, found in or can also be found in and then E. Krebs, K. Adam, G. Sunjin, E. Presvara, and then H. U. von Balshazar, H. D. Lubach, and Y. Kongar. You did a great. Authors. You did a great job with those with those difficult words. Great authors, names of authors. Great. Well, thanks so much. Uh, um, and I, I want to thank you, uh, uh, Nathan, for all that you do for this uh, program and and for the daily portion of German. And that was our final uh, section on on the car runner and prayers of life. Thanks so much for tuning in and see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.